Zohar Parashat Ekef Shulchan Betevo Petar Verma va citer Shulchan Seshitim Begomer Tachazé Minagim Tavi, mes chapira n'avo nage mare de saodata de Malka, la rasa de Inun me bene patora de Malka. It was a good habit that uh, the uh, for the Shulchan of Shabbat, which was the table of uh, Friday night, uh, what was supposed to be in this table, what was supposed to be prepared uh, on that table, uh, the one of Friday night and the one of Shabbat also, which means Friday night, Saturday afternoon, and also Asiyot Shlishit, which means the third meal that we usually have on uh, Shabbat. And uh, ten different things are supposed to be on that table or be part of the meal. And these ten uh, different things correspond to the ten different uh, sefirot. So, first, netilat daim. So the washing of the hands before the meal. Two to prepare two bread for Shabbat. Three to eat the three meals of Shabbat, which means the one also of Saturday afternoon, to add from uh, the regular day to the uh, holy day on Shabbat. Uh, fourth, to put a, a ner, to put a candle on the table. This five or fifth, to have the, the, the cost of the glass to do the Kiddush. Six is to say words of Torah on the table. And uh, seven to make the, the time of uh, the meal, the time that we're sitting on the table, longer to give possibility of others to come. Eight, the washing of the hands after the meal. Number nine corresponds to the Birkat Abazon, the grace after the meal. Asiyara, Kose Bracha. And ten is the uh, Kos, which is the, the, the last glass of wine that we that we drink after the blessing of uh, Birkat Abazon. Now, if we try to look at each one of these ten uh, items a little bit more in details, we see what? We see that, uh, first of all, Nechetadayim. Okay, why do why do we have to wash hands before we go? Because the because since before that we can use our hands to do bracha, like to hold the glass of the kiddush, and the, to bless the, the wine, to bless the bread, etc. We have to make sure that our hands are purified. So we cannot do any any of these blessings if our hands are not purified. So first we have to take out all impurity for our, from our hands. This is the first reason why we have to do nitzadayim, which means the washing of the hands. You know, three times three on on each end. Two, why do we bring do do we have two breads on the table? Because they are an allusion to the two tables of the commandments, one on the right, one on the left, right? And we put them together. Third, we said that we have to eat three meals on Shabbat, including the one on Saturday afternoon. Why? Because as it says. He says, happy is the lot of the one that do have those three meals of Shabbat. And the, the, the three meals, you having the three meals of bread, I mean real meals. The one on Friday night, Saturday afternoon, and Saturday, uh, Saturday afternoon between lunch, and Saturday after, which means Saturday uh, uh, around maybe four or five o'clock, whenever Shabbat before it comes out, which is the third meal of Shabbat before uh, Saturday night. There's a big uh, secret on that, but it's not uh, the, the subject right now. And uh, so here we are in number three, right? And then we we said the number four was to put uh, uh, a candle right on the table. Why? Because we say that the table is supposed to be from the north to the south. So the, the, no, the north is for the table, and the south is for the uh, candle. Also, this is an illusion of, uh, uh, of uh, what we can say that, uh, why does the light has to light up the, 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 uh, the table? Because what the, the table represents, which is what we call the malchut, and the light. 
and uh, this is also another subject. So five, cause You see, the number five is the glass of we do the kiddush, and we know that the cause, the, the the word in Hebrew cause, which means glass, has a gematria, has a count of eighty-six, which is the same as the name Elokim, Elokim, which is one of the name of God, which represents rigor. Evayichulu, the first word that we say in the Kaddish, has a gematria count of 72, which is uh, the same uh, count as chesed, which means bounty. So, the, the, uh, the first word, Evayichulu, bounty, and the glass that represents the Kim rigor, are put together also to make all this rigor, to, to, calm, to calm them, to, put, to, to sweeten them, if we want. Evayichulu, the Kaddish, and there comes Malay Yena de Roita Sereli Sarah Voda de Vereshit. And that is what we have the, the we, um, we fill up the glass with the uh, the wine. To remember also what we call Masi Vereshit, which means the, 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 the beginning of the world. Why? Because again, the, we said the, the, uh, the glass is Midat uh, Mahut, the, the glass is Mahut, which means it is receiving the wine. Uh-huh. And the the one is an allusion to the to the uh, sefiratif eret, and it fills up the glass, right? So what does that mean? That means that the uh, the, uh, the the midatif eret, which is a higher uh, quality of the sefirot, fills up the machut, okay? Fills it up, and this we call this the krayena shel Torah. We call this the wine of the Torah. Why? Because we are putting in something. Okay, which is uh, is going to give out, uh, is going to give out a, a result, and in this case, it's an illusion of the Torah coming out from the from the rigor. Shetita, and we said uh, six, is to uh, to say words of Torah in the on the table. Why? Because we said that if on the on the on the table of Shabbat, if there is no words of Torah that are said, it is like Avodah uh, Zarah, which means like. Uh, uh, you know, sitting with uh, no no purpose of sanctity. So, the purpose of sanctity on the shop, on the on the table of Shabbat, we have to say a few words of uh, Torah. Right. Uh, so. And then we have to take the uh, the two breads, right? This, so this we said already, right? For cut. We so we have to take the two breads, right? And that's why it is a good thing to bring to your table a time in which we a scholar that can come and also bring to your table a time in Chacham, which means a scholar that can come and also say words of Torah on the on the, the table of Shabbat. And to, pro, to, to, to prolong, to have a long, to, to stay longer on the ta- on table, why? Because maybe some poor people could want, may want to come. This, of course, in the time of the Zohar, the, the, uh, the, the homes were open. So people used to walk around, and when they had an, an opportunity to go in and eat, they would just go in and ask to be seated on the table of Shabbat. Uh, there, there was not like buildings like we have today. Uh, so the idea of staying longer on the ta- table of Shabbat is maybe someone will drop in and uh, want to eat, especially a poor man, or and your table should be open for that. Because it was like a tzilbeh we say what charity saves from death. Eight, ma'im acharonim. You said eight, the, 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 the last washing of the hands. Why? Because we say that this is to, for the, uh, what we call melach sedomit, which is the, the, uh, the salt of sedom. So, of course, it's an illusion. That, uh, but what happens is, what in every f- every food that we eat does have an aspect of the salt of uh, of Edom and uh, of of Sodom. I mean, sorry, Sodom, like Sodom and Gomorrah. And uh, we said that this uh, special uh, salt does something to the eyes of a person spiritually, which means it hides from that person the the uh, the, the sight. Where he could see things that uh, could make, maybe make him understand some uh, important secrets. So by washing these hands of the last, would take off this uh, this assault from the hand physically, but usually spiritually, it's also from the eyes. 
יסוד הדבר, כשאלו אין נחשים עושים. תרשע, and we said, don't, number nine is the cost, so it's the last kiddush that we say on the, on Bechat Abazon, the last glass of wine, right? And uh, which we call the cost of the, the Belacha. So this is number 10. So we see that we have this 10 things on the table that represent the 10 sefirot, and each one has a very, very special importance. So by doing things automatically, of course, we don't pay attention. But by knowing what they are, as the Zohar explains here more in details, then of course we get a feeling of elevation. But doing each one of these 10 things on the Shulchan of Shabbat, on the table of Shabbat. Shalom, shalom.